I'm on the second coat of primer. Um, the video might be a bit grainy because I'm using an Android phone, so it's not brilliant. But it hasn't come out too bad. So yeah, I'll keep you updated with the first coat of uh, base paint. Right, it's the first coat of the base paint. As you can see, it's patchy. Um, it's better to put a lot of very light coats on than try to cover it all in one or two goes because you'll just get runs. Which then you've got to sand it back down and rework it. Same with the primer, really. Nice and thin layers and build it up. Coat two of uh, the base paint. I actually went a bit ahead of myself and tried to cover too much at once, which you shouldn't really do, but I didn't get any runs. And it's looking pretty good. The shine you can see, even though my phone's out of crap, um, that'll pretty much disappear when it dries. That's what you need lacquer for on metallic paint. Bring the shine up. Just wish I had a HD camera so you'd be able to see it a lot better, but you're getting somewhere near the colour of the the bug's gonna be. So, yeah. Before I put the next coat on, I will flatten it down. Obviously I'm in a shed. <laughs> um, there's going to be a few dust particles landing on it, so when this coat dries I'll probably give it a good three or four hours before I even touch it. Um, maybe even a bit longer. Heater is on. But yeah, I'll keep you posted. This is coat number three of the base coat. Um, there's no blotches anymore, it's completely covered. Um, I've got a choice now whether to leave it like that, flat it back and lacquer it, or go for a fourth coat for durability. But I think it looks pretty good as it is. Uh, once the lacquer goes on, the, the colour actually go a bit darker than it is now. It's still a real nice colour, so. so yeah. It's the first coat of lacquer. And well, now it's starting to shine nicely. Again, the same with the um, primer and base coat. You want to do a few thin layers instead of trying to pile it on in one go because the lacquer will definitely run if you try and use too much at once. Bloody bugger for it. So yeah. I think I might get away with just two coats of lacquer. I might put a third on. Just so it's a bit... Uh, a bit stronger, I suppose, to protect the paint. Right, I went with three coats of lacquer in the end, just so it's a bit, a bit more protective over the paint. I need to be shinier, so. Just wish I had a better fucking camera. Because this is going to be pretty grainy. You're not going to get the full benefit of the shine. You can kind of see it there, I suppose. Who says you can't spray in your shed? 
with a halogen heater. <laughs> Surprisingly, there isn't actually that much orange peel either, which I thought I might get. You can usually get rid of that with some uh, rubbing compound, but it won't take much rubbing down. Pretty damn good. Hopefully, uh, Spud won't get on my back about spraying in the shed again. As you can see, buddy, pretty damn good of it. You see? You see that shine, buddy? Yes. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, I can't use any rubbing compound for a couple of weeks because all the paint and lacquer has got to dry and cure. So I don't really want to pull them on the bike. I'll just leave them in here. If they're on the bike, I'll bloody ride it. End up getting stone chips and crap all over it and ruining the paint job. That's it. Yeah, I just thought I'd add. Well, I missed the bloody panel. The inspection panel. What a pain in the ass. So now I've got to uh, prime base coat and lacquer that bugger. You're probably wondering why the centre horn panel isn't here. That's because it's there. Oops. and um, I'm not spraying it because I'm buying the uh, carbon fibre Evo um, same with the mud guard um, I just think it'll look better to be fair so yeah blue panel